is how quickly and rapidly news can come. Ripple brings on an ex-treasurer to the board of directors. We're going to take a deep dive around their board of directors today. There's a lot of great news coming out for Ripple. We got the SEC lawsuit happening right in the precipice of the biggest bull run in history. What do you guys think is going to happen? Comment down below. I'm very excited to be with you guys. But my name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. So the reality you're experiencing is just thoughts, actions, and behaviors since you became an adult and make, could make conscious decisions. So the great thing is you can make a different decision today to change your life. Now to be very clear, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I spent 12 years in the banking system. I learned how to scale banks at a deep level. I jumped out of corporate America to follow my dream of creating freedom for people and creating a warrior academy. Now we have 16, close to 1,600 warriors worldwide, 15 different countries, where we support each other in the quantum financial system. We have a group of people, technical analysis, you get to see my portfolio, exit strategy, and we work out together, nutrition, mindset, subconscious mind programming, and goal setting. But I talk a lot about Ripple. Now why do I talk a lot about Ripple? I have a lot of cryptocurrencies in my portfolio, specifically 19 all fundamental cryptocurrencies. Now the reason why I talk heavily about Ripple, well this is the first cryptocurrency I was in, introduced to and I fell absolutely in love with it. And I'll be completely honest with you guys and transparent all the time. About a year and a half ago, I wasn't even in cryptocurrency. I was against it. I was an ex-banker. So I felt and was taught because we were predictive programming that cryptocurrency was a fraud. Specifically, Jamie Dimon in 2017 told us you're criminals if you buy or sell cryptocurrency. When? They were buying and selling cryptocurrency or buying Bitcoin, right? JPM coin now. You have a cryptocurrency protocol. There's a lot of weird things happening. If you watch my video that I did this morning, Warren Buffett closed out a uh, Chase Bank 100%, PNC Bank 100%. There is something happening behind the scenes, words. And so all I'm doing is giving you information to make informed decisions. So a lot of people ask me, should I go all in on Ripple? I want to be very clear. I've been buying Ripple since it was about 13, 14, 17 cents around there, right? So I have a lot of Ripple. So at this price point, no, I'm not buying in right now. But if you don't have any Ripple, it may be a good position to get into depending on your risk appetite or what you're looking to do with your portfolio. But I also have a broad portfolio. I have XLM, ADA, Ethereum, big fan of Ethereum. I have a lot of different cryptocurrencies within my portfolio. They're going to change the world. So XRP is one of my biggest holdings, but I want to be very clear. I'm not just an XRP maximalist. I'm a cryptocurrency maximalist. I love all cryptocurrencies. I think they all play a vital role. Now, some are some bad actors out there, but I just want to make that very clear. Now, another thing about me is I love God. I follow the life of Jesus. I'm non-religious, and I accept everybody into my paradigm, and we'd love to have you part of our community. Well, we've had some great news today. Ripple adds former U.S. treasurer to the board of directors. Rosie Rios was the 43 treasurer of the United States, serving on the Obama administration from 2009 to 2016. Ripple granted access to the SEC documents on Bitcoin. Oh, that's a different thing. <laughs> Ripple has appointed former U.S. treasurer Rosie Rios to its board of directors. Rosie was the 43rd treasurer. We talked about that. Her 30-year career has focused on economic development, urban revitalization, and real estate finance, according to the announcement uh, dated May 3rd. Rosie described Ripple, check this out, Rosie described Ripple as one of the best examples of how to use cryptocurrency in a uh, sustainable and legitimate role to facilitate payments globally. Let me repeat that sentence really quickly. Well, let's pause for just a moment. Do you know who Rosie Rios is? Her signature is on your bills, on your fiat. Rosie Rios on your bills. Okay, let's go back. Rosie Rios describes Ripple as one of the best examples of how to use cryptocurrency in a sustainable and legitimate role to facilitate payments globally. Cryptocurrency is what Ripple is how, she added. Cryptocurrency is what Ripple is how, she added. Let me read those two lines just one more time. I'm not sure if you heard that. She describes Ripple as one of the greatest examples of how to use cryptocurrency in a sustainable, legitimate role to facilitate payments globally. Cryptocurrency is what Ripple is how, she added. Now let me ask you a question, warriors. If you're Rosie Rios, the 43rd treasurer of the United States, you have the opportunity to have your signature on our currency. Would you risk your reputation, your careers, 
your your reputation to become a board of director for Ripple. If you thought that it was going to be collapse in the U.S., let's 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 put our thinking caps on. Let's go down the yellow brick road. Let's pull back the curtain and ask yourself. I'm Rosie Rios, and I'm making a decision. I'm sitting down with my maybe she's married, maybe she has kids. Sitting down with her family, says, "You guys, you know what? I'm going to go be a board of director for a company that's about to lose a massive SEC lawsuit." You don't think she has connections within the government, the 43rd treasurer who has her signature on our currency? Think about that, words. The person who has a signature on our currency, how high level are you to get your signature on a currency to go be the board of director at Ripple, our favorite cryptocurrency? Do you think she's really going to risk her career? All these people calling it a shit coin. Really think about that. Ripple also announced Christine Campbell as its new chief financial officer. Campbell previously worked as a CFO billing and payments platform, Pay Near Me, and held several roles at California-based fintech company Green Dot. Okay, let's just take a look at that. Rosie Rio's signature right there. She is now putting her stamp on our coin, Ripple XRP. So let's take a deep dive in the leadership team here. So you can also, this is how I do my cryptocurrency investing. Um, I look at the leadership team. I look at the board of directors. I look at the marketing teams. I look at their marketing infrastructure. Um, how well is their social media branding? How well is their branding? Who are they connected with? Now we got to remember Brad Garlinghouse, right? The CEO is on the cryptocurrency committee for the World Economic Forum. We all know who Chris Larson is, right? So you have Susan. This is the board of directors. You have Susan Ali. Susan um, Ali is a professor of economics at Stanford Graduate School of Business. She received her bachelor's degree at Duke University, a PhD from Stanford, and holds an honorary doctorate from Duke University. She previously taught the economics department at MIT. Interesting. At MIT, who's the head of our SEC now? Gary Glensler, the cryptocurrency professor at MIT. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, all right, so you got Brad Garlinghouse. We know who Brad is, right? Um, Anja Manuel, a former diplomat, author, advisor, emerging markets. Anja is a co-founder of the principal along the former Secretary of State, um, Condoleezza Rice, former National Security Advisor for Stephen Hodley, former Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates. These are some high-level people, Warriors. Have you read through the board of directors? Adam Trotten. Adam Trotten is the CEO and co-founder of BRD, Brigham Blockchain Enabled Services, Financial Services. Uh, Trotten is also currently the CEO of SBI Ripple Asia. Okay? Early in his career, Trotten was a software engineer at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, designed application of engineer. Let's just pick some low-level people to bring on to our board of directors, right? They have no; These guys have no connections at all. Craig Phillips brings more than 35 years of private and public sector leadership experience to Ripple, having held senior roles at BlackRock, Morgan Stanley. Have you heard of any of these companies? Uh, Credit Suzy, um, if I said that correctly. Most recently, Craig served as a counselor to Secretary Treasurer Steve Mnuchin. Interesting, huh? Steve Mnuchin, secretary. What else do we got going on here? Ah, oh, this is pretty deep, Wars. This is pretty deep. These people are highly, highly connected. Sandra O'Connor. You ever heard of her before? Sandra O'Connor is a recognized financial industry expert who is a thought leader with her career spanning more than 30 years. She has a deep capital markets balance sheet with risk management experience as well as experience building global businesses. O'Connor recently retired as a chief regulatory affairs officer for J.P. Morgan Chase, where she set the firm's comprehensive regulatory strategy, regulatory, regulatory, led engagement with the G20 policymakers, G20. Prior to this role, O'Connor had several senior leadership positions at the firm, including global treasurer, head of prime services. O'Connor has also served on several public and private teams to support integrity and efficiency capital markets. Okay. Oh, this is amazing words. All right. So there she is, Rosie Rios, now on the board of directors. Rosie Rios has over 30 years of unparalleled experience and expertise in the public policy, and investment management. She served as the 43rd treasurer of the United States and was the CEO of Bureau, engraving the imprinting, engraving and printing and the U.S. Mint, including Fort Knox. She also initiated the lead and led the efforts to place a portrait of a woman on the U.S. currency for the first time in over a century. Upon her resignation since 2006, she received the Hamlin Award, uh, the Hamilton Award, the high honor bestowed the U.S. Department of Treasury. Rios was the longest serving Senate confirmed Treasury official beginning with her time on the Treasury Federal Reserve transition team, November 2000. 
2008 at the height of the financial crisis. Following her tenure, she was appointed as a visiting um, scholar at the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study in Harvard University with focus on millennials and post-millennials. In August 2020, she was honored as one of the U.S. Today's Women of the Century. Rosa Rios is currently the CEO of Red River Associates, a real estate investment management consulting firm, and serves as a board of Academy of Family Insurance, American Family Insurance, excuse me, um, Fidelity Charitability Trust. In 2018, she was appointed as an executive committee member of the American 2050 Congressional Commission Responsibility for Planning the 250th Anniversary National Foundation in 2026. So let's just sit back for a moment. I'm Rosie Rios again. Am I going to jump onto a company? I'm an American. My name is on the dollar. My name is on the currency. I've been able to sign my name on a currency. She's dying a legend, right? Would you risk your career to become a board of director for Ripple, who has an SEC lawsuit going on with XRP, who would maybe supposedly, but all these people are saying is gonna get crushed in this SEC lawsuit? I think not worse. So we got the news, former U.S. Treasurer got appointed. Um, we got her name on the dollar bill. She's on the board of directors. We dove down all the board of directors. And then check this out. So the narratives out there were Ripple, this is on May 1st, but Ripple's radical call for greener Bitcoin. Chris Larson says Bitcoin needs to move off proof of work to something more eco-friendly, but that looks pretty unlikely. Okay? Ripple co-founder Chris Larson celebrated Earth Day with a bold proposition. He called on Bitcoin Network to move from an energy-guzzling proof-of-work to more eco-friendly system like proof-of-stake. Since, since such a move would require a radical change to Bitcoin's code, I spoke with Larson to see how serious he is, and turns out he's deadly serious. According to Larson, the crypto industry is getting beat up by progressives, many whom fail to understand that it's not all blockchains are energy-intensive like Bitcoin. He says environmentalists don't realize that. Once Ethereum switches to proof of stake, 40% of the industry will be low emission and in plug for its own network. Um, and in a plug for its own network, Larson noted that the annual energy use of a Ripple's a network is akin to that of 50 American homes versus 12 million, 12 million homes for Bitcoin. And then this just came out today. That's why I connected to. New York bill would freeze Bitcoin miners pending environmental review. The new legislation seeks to counter the industry that cri uh, the critics blast as uh, detrimental to New York's decarbonization goal. New York is all jacked up with cryptocurrency. It's so tough for my warriors in New York to get crypto. A new bill in New York state legislature seeks to place a three-year memorandum on crypto mining pending environmental review by the state. The bill of state of Senate, uh, Senate Kevin Parker um, would lift the moratorium only if mining facilities that will not adversely affect the New York's carbon con uh, cutting benchmarks. The legislation in its earliest stages was referred to in the Senate's Environment Committee. Now, we saw also the gentleman from Shark Tank, um, Kevin O'Leary. I think it's Kevin O'Leary. Excuse me if I got that incorrect. Um, Kevin O'Leary, I believe. He was talking about the fact that um, he's into cryptocurrency now, right? But he also is only working with miners who are crypto or eco-friendly. So he's very, very cognizant of that. So that's the big narrative. 2050 by um, – uh, zero carbon by 2050, the World Economic Forum, everybody's talking about it. The first thing Biden did when he went into the presidency was go into the Paris Agreement. Whereas I've been studying this at a very, very deep level. But I just want you to, again, I'm just going to keep revisiting. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but really think about this. You're Rosie Rios. You have your name on the actual currency. You're a high, high-level person within the government or within the, the connection with our government. Are you really going to join a company, Ripple, during an SEC lawsuit? If you think it's going to collapse, really think about that. With her knowledge in banking and understanding economics, would you really put your career at risk? So worries, are, I think we're on the precipice of something massive, massive. This is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But as I stare right here at this bill, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to look you in the eyes, worries. Your world is never going to be the same, the same by 2030. 2025, the banking system is going to look a lot different. we got a pretty long run ahead of us. We're very early. 2030, things are not going to look the same. By 2050, it's going to be unrecognizable. And there's going to be two types of people. People that get on the freight train and go for the ride of the life or someone who gets run over by it. But the truth is, Warriors, at some point, everybody has to get on that train, Warriors. And I'll tell you this. You know, This may turn some people off, and I may not get as much likes or comments or views, but I'm really not looking for that, Warriors. I've been divinely guided to this. 
divinely guided to cryptocurrency and where I'm at right now in my life specifically. If you haven't followed me, follow me at CoachJV underscore. I will show you my warrior journey. A lot of people say he talks all about money. This has nothing to do with money. I teach people free dome. Today, I've done a high-intensity workout, a hypertrophy workout. I worked with a warrior, five Zoom calls, ice baths, no pornography, no fapping. I'm very focused warriors. So I follow the life of Jesus as close as possible. So I'm here to leave a dent in the universe, just like Ripple's here to leave a dent in the universe and reinvent his warriors. I'm very serious about that, and I'm bold enough to say that here on my YouTube channel. I'm a warrior in a modern-day society. And we are the uncommon 1%. We are the ones who are still sitting here on this video right now. You are the uncommon 1%. So I'm working to bring people together all over the world so we can rise together. It's not a perfect academy, Warriors. We have flaws just like anybody else. But what we do, Warriors, is we listen to feedback and we continue to grow. So if you want access to my portfolio, an exit strategy to see my exit targets. Now, it may be different for you if you're just getting into crypto, but you have to have a plan or you'll plan to fail. We talk on Thursday with a cryptocurrency call for all of our Warriors. All of our calls are recorded, so if you can't get on the calls, they're sent out to everywhere. A technical analysis call on Friday, leadership call on Wednesday and Friday. We work out with you live daily, nutrition plan, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, 120-day challenge. This is much bigger than crypto. Mindset, crypto, and fitness. Nothing like it in the world, Warriors. So if you want to be part of something very special, click the link down below. Also, reminder, we are heading to Vegas July 17th, 11 to 4 p.m. at the Circle Hotel. We're doing a meet and greet from 11 to 4, and then wherever the world takes us after that, Warriors. So if you'd like more information on that, go to my Instagram page at CoachJV underscore. Click the link down on the bottom. You can get the information by putting your email and phone number or email um, and your name, and we'll share with you guys where we're at. You can also buy your tickets to the pool. It has nothing to do with us. Tickets to the pool is to get in there. We picked the Circle Hotel because it can fit 4,000 people. We have about 130 people so far uh, that have confirmed that they're coming. So there's going to be quite a few people out there. We're excited to meet you guys. And we're excited to have some fun as we move into the quantum financial system. I love you guys. Comment down below what you think about all this. Warriors, rise. Follow me on CoachJV underscore on Instagram and my CoachJV podcast.